Hello and welcome to uh, season 14, episode 3 of... Se- season 15. Season 15, I haven't slept mate. I yeah, haven't slept enough good, of this, I'm going to power through this fucking intro. Should, could have just called it TUF Live actually. Right, but... it is rear naked chat, we are talking about TUF Live, UFC yeah. fighting the greatest reality show on earth. <laughs> I love it, seriously I just cannot get enough of it, it's building momentum now. Yeah. And especially because Apprentice has started and again it's just like another reminder of what do you want from a reality show let's be honest what do you want you want to get see someone getting angry with someone else and then punching yeah. them in the face as in hard the face. as they can yeah. like if that happened on Apprentice it would be the greatest thing ever yeah exactly <laughs> so I was talking to someone at work as well saying like it's probably my favourite show on TV for, for that exact reason yeah it's, like, it's a reality show yeah but then they live in a house together you're going to get Tension, you're yeah. going to get attitudes that they actually then get to get in a yeah. cage and beat the shit out of each other. It doesn't other. get better than that. Like, there was one, one line in it when there was a bit of uh, arguing going on this week, but he just comes out with, like, I want to fight. Uh, and he said some guy's name, I can't remember who it was. He goes, I want to fight him. It's like, well, don't worry, mate, you're probably going to get to. Fair enough, yeah. It's not just words, this is going to happen. Mm-hmm. Actually, before we get into this, hang yeah. on, let me... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we haven't started the, the show officially started, yet. Right? <laughs> hey. <laughs> now we're on, mate, now we're music on. music to go with that. Um, so, yeah, those, any, any new viewers to the show, I've got a very high-tech gaming chair that I like to sit in. So, we officially... Uh, it's like a switch. Yeah, we don't. We don't go live. We don't li- like to think the show started until I'm on. Yeah. Uh, your screen just went black for a second there. All right. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Check that. No, I'm cool. I'm back in. All right. Cool. Cool. It's yeah. On widescreen, you might go no widescreen now and again, but you can still hear the words. The risks of uh, putting together a show in two different countries. Yeah, on a budget of about what? Well, there is no budget. This is. I've spent no. I, I look. At, I bought these for like twelve euros. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the budget. <laughs> for this yeah. show. And he's not in India, for any of you racists out there. He's in Holland. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Netherlands. Yes. So, yeah, man, let's get to it. TUF Live. Yeah, I, I like, do you like the new music, yeah? You like from the Chili Peppers? Yeah, the Chili Peppers, yeah. Yeah, man. As soon as I, I, I mean, heard it, I was like, yes, yes, it needed new music. Because the thing is, as well, you get... You do get used to a certain type of music on a show, and I do enjoy the kind of because the, the, the hard the, metal the rock rap actually what it said on yeah, the yeah, yeah. you're going to get knocked out <laughs> yeah. you're going to get it. knocked out <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. and it's like at the end of every line there was just a smack in the face <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly perfect <laughs> yeah, yeah. but they chose yeah so it's risky, risky it's a bit more style I think it's going with a bit more style slightly less aggression <laughs> yeah yeah. it's evolving um, it's evolving just like mixed martial yeah, arts can't go can't go wrong with old school chilli peppers man yeah so. yeah yeah old yeah. school chilli peppers and yeah. like and all this concern watching the show like there's a lot of concern about all oh, the new format this that it's like yeah. this show is just too good a concept to fuck up it doesn't yeah. matter about the format the crux right. of the show is there's going to get some people getting in heated arguments and then beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You cannot fuck it this up. What more do you want? And the, the coaches just giving each other shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, which is always good. I am enjoying the coaches' little rivalry. Oh yeah, season. yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, the move. He, Actually, he, he made the first strike last week with the did, did. with the team pick. And it was just so funny seeing Faber, like the first thing he says when he goes into the room. Uh, what do you say? He goes, "Oh yeah, okay, guys." Uh, don't let him get under your skin. You might as well have just come out and said, listen, guys, he got under my skin, okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he might as well have admitted it. Um, but, uh, yeah, j- just to go back quickly, I was just, there's one thing I noticed, because it is now Fox, it's all gone mainstream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, with the new music, you've got the new presentation yeah. and stuff. But, uh, is it, have they got the same like, voiceover guy they used to have? Is that the same format? Which that guy? You know the guy who's like, over? This week on the Ultimate oh, Fighter. Oh, I don't know. I noticed. There was, I was, there was one bit that made me think... I don't remember hearing him, though. He's probably just totally subliminal to you now. Like, you're yeah. just used to it. But there was one There was one line where he was <laughs> like... He goes... Oh, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he was like... Justin Lawrence and you know, Dominic Cruz picked... Cristiano Marcelo to fight Justin Lawrence 
to determine who would be the winner in the first preliminary fight in the th- like it was just such a long sentence. A long sentence it lost its yeah. impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, did you really need to do that voice? That sentence? I understand if you're hyping things up, but that it's like it's- voice is a headline voice. It shouldn't yeah. be like you shouldn't read the art that voice. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's like this bit. Yeah, this bit isn't doesn't need to be said in that voice. Just, yeah, yeah. But, I wonder, is he told, like, everything you say has to be that voice? Yeah, or maybe that's just yeah. his voice. Well, he just talk like that all the <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> just, yeah, constantly talk But, like yeah, that, but. Cruz favour, man. I mean, um, Cruz is... He's, I've been saying this, said this last week as well on the show that didn't make it onto the internet, but yeah. he's so clever, he's so strategic. About, like, you see him when he was talking about them. He's saying, like, shit talking. Yeah, but even when he was talking about the team, he was describing, he's saying, like, uh, oh, if I if we take out Cristiano Marcelo, he's a big part of their team. That's like taking out a leg. That's their top boy, so, yeah. Yeah, but he's viewing the team as, like, one op- opponent out. Yeah, and, like, yeah. That's yeah. a leg. That's a leg gone. Yeah, that's a few leg out. kicks. Yeah. Exactly. So strategic, yeah. man. He did it the week before, obviously. We talked about it last week, but... Yeah, yeah. Where he picked, where he made Faber pick, oh no one my stepped up. God. But then, then it was like, okay, you obviously you're scared, right? I'm having your best guy. Like, yeah. I'm so confident in yeah, my yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bring on your best guy, and then so it's a double message. Yeah. And then obviously it worked. Yeah. But obviously, you know. Faber handled it. Faber handled it in the worst possible way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And there's one bit I noticed as well with Faber was talking. Where I was thinking, you're not doing yourself any favors here. Yeah. He was trying to. He was trying to paint Dominic Cruz as a bit of a dick. Yes, yes. He's just sort of going, oh, this guy, man, he's disrespectful and he's this and that. And it's like, the problem is we, as viewers, we get to see that he's not... Yeah, because for all these like, years, haven't you believed it? You've, his, yeah, you've I just didn't? believed it, haven't you? All, these, all this time he's been talking about Cruz, you've kind yeah. of just built this picture of Cruz. Yeah, man, like, Faber yeah, really yeah. doesn't like him. He must have done something. He must be a dick. Yeah, because Faber seems like a cool guy. Yeah. Like what? If the Dominic Cruz to piss him off, he must be a bit of a dick. But it's oh. like he's almost saying it to the cameras, trying to go, mm. yeah, he's a, he's a bit of an asshole. But then it's like, yeah, but we we get to see yeah. that he's not. So you, you're, you're not. It's, it's kind of backfiring on him. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. That's what one of the things I'd like. I'm, is that he's growing more and more. It's like Faber's not as cool and not as good as coach as I thought he would be. No, no. I seriously, no. thought like Cruz had no personality and. Yeah. Like he would just be quiet and timid and not really talk to the guys and yeah, but it's just so not the case. <laughs> it's not at all. Yeah, like there was a great bit where he was coming out of the training and Faber was holding the door and he yeah. just walked oh, out the door. That like, yeah, thanks, for ho- thanks for getting the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. That pissed him off, man. It was but great. there was one bit as well. It's like um, Faber's he, he's so intent on hating Dominic Cruz. Yeah, it's like when you know, like when you, um, I don't know if it's still the case now. Spurs are probably. A Beat Spurs fans who hate yeah. Arsenal more than they support Spurs. Yeah, I'm yeah. sort of getting that feeling with like, Faber. Like they don't care if they lose every game all season as long as they beat Arsenal. Yeah, so. yeah. And with Faber, it's starting to feel like that now. It's like, why are you just focusing on hate? Like, you keep saying, oh, I'm his enemy, he picked me as his enemy. Like, you never hear Cruz say that. Nah. It's just like, you're not my enemy. I just, like, want to get in your head and fuck you up. To some degree, if there's not... I don't know, I wouldn't say there's direct... Uh, instructions for them to be for a little bit because it makes for better TV. Yeah. But I think it's known that the shows where the coaches get on or don't fight, the ratings probably aren't as good. Or that is true. That they is don't true. get as much feedback. The show is much better. If yeah, the like, I'd say to, to this day, the worst season for that was Forest Rampage. It's just no Forest beef. Rampage. No, Rashad Rampage. No, no, as in the, where the oh, coaches were the they friendliest. Were cool. They were just yeah, cool, yeah, no yeah. beef. Oh, no, or Brock Lesnar, Junior Dos Santos. And Dos Santos, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, wasn't there... Who was Frank Mir on it with? I didn't even watch that season, Nogueira. Yeah, that was it. cool. They were cool as well. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the reason I didn't watch it. I just knew there was no beef between the coaches. <laughs> didn't bother. Yeah. It just lost interest immediately. So, yeah, I, I wonder if there's a little bit of that where Fabe is kind of trying to play up to that a bit where there's a little bit of bad blood. Yeah, yeah. Trying to stretch but it. having said that, he's... Uh, Fabe clearly hates Dominic Cruz more than anyone else. Like, he's fought other people. He doesn't... But he's Cruz. constantly talked shit about fucking Cruz forever. But also, it also makes it easy for Dominic Cruz because he's like, if, if Faber's playing up to that and talking the yeah, shit, yeah. so I can just 
I could just be me and just... Yeah. The inter- like that bit when they're walking out the door and he goes, um, uh, he's like, I'll help you out. He's, and he's like, well, I already have tried to help you out by giving you the fucking fight pick. Yeah. And like, his response yeah. was just like, it just, he just said words that made no sense. He <laughs> yeah, involved he just, the word yeah. help. He tried to have a pun. He tried to twist it, but it was just nothing. He had nothing. <laughs> yeah. He had nothing, yeah. <laughs> he had fuck all there. Yeah. Um, and that bit as well when, like, the prank started, basically, right? It wasn't, yeah. even, it wasn't even Cruz that did it. But no. immediately, he's so fixated on Cruz, he's like, yeah, good joke, good joke. Yeah, you, you basically got no personality. That was a shit joke. It's like, he didn't even do it, mate. He didn't even do it, yeah. <laughs> and I like the way Cruz knew what was coming as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Hold my guys now, just yeah. be on guard. Yeah, yeah. Something's, something's coming. But, um, but it's Tickle, that fucker Tickle. I told you last week, man, he's you a did, troublemaker. You nailed it. I'm he's like, a I, took, I took a few notes this week, uh. and I've, ri- I've written it here. <laughs> Serb nailed it with Tickle. <laughs> Malvi cunt problem waiting to happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it, man. Yeah, and uh, but actually, I think Malvi cunt is probably a bit unfair. I'd say mental case is probably a bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, that shit with the gas, gas mask. mask. First, I thought it was genuinely he's going to train with. I thought he's just a nutcase in training, and like he's going to show everyone that like, look at me, I train with a gas mask. Yeah. But it was yeah, just yeah. for the cameras. Yeah, no, it's just nuts. Yeah. And he doesn't and train. Yeah, <laughs> there's one bit as well where some guy goes, he goes tickle his nuts. And I thought he said tickle his nuts. nuts. I was like, what? Where did that come from? Where's he goes, tickle his nuts. I was like, what? And then he's like, yeah, tickle is crazy. I was like, yeah. oh, I understand what, what now, yeah. What beef that he had with uh, Kofa, or a.k.a. Patrick Cote, number two? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Um, like, what, what the fuck's he doing back on? <laughs> um, I thought, basically... For the cameras? It was nothing. It was nothing. Yeah, yeah. Just had a little joke with him. Yeah. And he just took it wrong. I wonder if people, a, a bit, especially mental people, <laughs> are, uh, sensitive to looking bad on camera. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. Look like this guy's got one over on him, kind of yeah, thing. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he overreacted a bit, I, to be honest. I didn't like the way the guy uh, Kofa tried to when he explained it to Faber. Like Faber's like, what happened? And he's like, oh, yeah. you know, we were just making a joke. It wasn't even about him. It's like, well. We, no, admit, admit at least that much that it was, it was definitely directly about, about him. him yeah. yeah, but yeah, yeah, you made it about him when you mentioned his name in the joke. <laughs> 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 I think that was the part that gave it away. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, oh, that, that was a shit prank to start with, though. Just taking a fucking sign. I know. I What's know. Like, no, like, he, he, he wouldn't, even, wouldn't, even, noticed. Right, he wouldn't even noticed. He wouldn't even noticed. Yeah. Yeah, poor, poor effort. Yeah. I did like the comebacks. Once, once the comeback side is okay, this is building momentum now. That was a good little move. Yeah. <laughs> Turn him into the count. The count, yeah. And, and the, the eyebrows. On his, on his thong and his chin. Uh, yeah. That was good. I, I, uh, I was thinking a better joke there for the, uh, the butt chin would have been if uh, someone had smeared some actual shit around the chin <laughs> on, the, on the picture. <laughs> For a second, I thought that's where it was maybe going, but it's like, nah, uh, it's, it's only week two, man, week three. Yeah, that, that would have escalated <laughs> a lot quicker if someone had <laughs> actually smeared shit on his Who face. shit is this? That's all I want to know. Shit on his face. Who shit is this? <laughs> <laughs> they could have got some fucking Nutella or something, though, you know what I mean? It didn't have to be actual <laughs> you, shit. You, but yeah, you just said actual shit. Yeah, that one obviously would have been the greatest possible moment on fucking TV. I think it would have kicked off instantly. Yeah. It would have been that moment of like... Why are you shitting on my face, dude? Out, Why are you shitting going, on my face, yeah. dude? Him going... It would have been that moment, wouldn't it, of like, oh yeah, okay, very funny. Wait, is that actual shit? And <laughs> the moment would have been, someone would have had... Just to make yeah. sure. <laughs> and that would have been it, yeah. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> and I know he would have been the one to... That... Motherfucker, that bit... <laughs> Master Who? Tong, you mentioned him last week. The mysterious man in Favour's Corner, Master Tong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what the fuck was that bit when after the thong... Uh, he just sticks a Hitler moustache on him. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You're, you're a Nazi. <laughs> I reckon, right, because he can't speak English. And he just oh, really? T- yeah, yeah, he's like, he's just this mysterious man who just doesn't speak any English, but... No, he's, wasn't it? Didn't he speak in the show? He's very basic English. Like, he's from oh. like, And, yeah, he can talk very, very basic English. Imagine in his head, he's like, uh, oh, you fuck with, uh, you fuck with, you have a you fucking Hitler, motherfucker. <laughs> so he's <laughs> taking it too far. Yeah, just, just... 
<laughs> there's, too extreme with that. There, there's some but. video of Master Tong online though, where he's a bit of a joker apparently. He just does some crazy shit. Like right. he loves fucking with animals. He just loves fucking with them. In what so, way? Like he does like sort of capturing them, just fucking about with them. Like this is bit where he catches a possum. Right. Like, they're training and then they come outside. And Master Tong's done now. Like this is just a normal thing that he does, and he's just yeah. got this possum. Oh, oh, Master Tong's at it again. Yeah, yeah. He's like, look what he's caught now, and he's caught this possum in a cage. Set out, and he just keeps fucking around with it. It's like everyone else is like, rah, 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 shit. Just claw your And face. he's just all relaxed around it, like just grabbing its tail, fucking. It. And then he gets his noose and starts putting it around his neck and shit. Picks it out, puts it upside down. He's like, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. <laughs> it's crazy. Meanwhile, well, he's got this wild animal in his hand. Yeah. And he's on the phone the entire time. He's got his hands free, and it comes up. He's still on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to see this, man. Yeah. Love to Type in um, Master Tong Possum on YouTube. That's crazy. <laughs> Mental. Jesus Christ. But I yeah. think in, uh, the, the show itself, though, th- doesn't it seem like there's less drama? Because now they can't fuck with the editing. It's like you get the impression that once they've got 12 weeks of footage, they kind of dish it out evenly over every episode. Right. Oh, and do you think? Yeah, do you think that's how it yeah, works? Yeah, it feels usually? like that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cause I've heard not of necessarily time chronological order. No, no, definitely not. Definitely, I've, I would say afterwards that like, the editing's ah, totally I never even different. Thought of like, that. They'll they'll mix, and I've seen it with haircuts sometimes. Like, hold on, he didn't have a skinhead at that time. And oh so shit! They, I've never even noticed yeah, yeah, that. They, yeah, but to make it like, okay, the, the story for this episode is this, even though this shit happened over four weeks. Yeah, that makes perfect sense yeah. now, actually, yeah. Cause yeah, because every week you get a little you nugget of drama, and this don't week, you? Yeah. There wasn't really much drama, was there? There was a little bit of tickle, but... <laughs> I, I said it last week as well, I actually prefer seeing the training as well, I love that. Yeah, it's really yeah, interesting yeah. to me. And I will say, like, okay, we've said Faber's kind of lost a little bit of the... Mm mental battle. He, you can tell he's a good coach though. Yeah, he's yeah, because the, the advice he gave, he gave Marcello, the, the number of bit of advice was keep your, keep your chin in, keep your chin in, because he, yeah. comes, he comes with some punches that you might not see them come in. In training, he would still like do that when he's punching sort of thing. Yeah. Like, keep your chin in. That's what down for at the end. Yeah, that's what, that's what, how he lost, wasn't it, really? Yeah. yeah. Who did you think was going to win? What was your thoughts? Well, I put on my notes here, and on my first page, I kind of wrote him. So my first page was just everything leading up to the fight. And even yeah. on here, I've written uh, Justin Lawrence equals animal. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> That was it. That's, you didn't yeah. even bother writing about the other guy. <laughs> that was all I needed to see. Yeah, cause it was that bit where he was just talking about his upbringing, and he's like, he, he did re- wrestling was his main sport. Shit. His parents were both martial artists, yeah. but to, to say my speciality was wrestling, and then yeah. he goes, but I would say the strongest part of my game is stand up. Striking, yeah, striking. I yeah. was like, fuck this guy. That's, it was like it was like every... the main two big ingredients. You that's need. it, and I always say if you've got two out of the three, you, you're on to something. You're on to something yeah. big potentially. Yeah. Um, but like it's like every strength they try to bring up of what who was he fighting again uh marcello Marcello. marcello. It was just pure every, jiu-jitsu yeah but every strength they try to bring up yeah other than the jiu-jitsu it's like they try to say oh he's kind of he's older he's more mature he's more yeah. experienced well not really because he's Sorry, had a fucking 150, 150 amateur fights amateur didn't even get paid for that shit yeah and he's been fighting since he was six so he's probably got more years fighting exactly than the yeah. other guy has um yeah, exactly. and then he just looked more com- remember that experiment i was doing about um, I basically stare want downs. to yeah stare downs. I had this theory that uh, whoever looks away from the stare down first uh, yeah. loses, and I did it on UFC FX2. I right. Analyzed all the stare downs. I got my spreadsheet already. Like, I'm going to do oh, this really? long term. Yeah. You actually did proper research. Yeah, yeah I did it all. So I was like the stare down, then the fight result. Put them all next to each other, and I didn't need to basically carry it on because what was becoming clear it wasn't about who looks away first. The one thing that was jumping up very clear wins. Nine that out of ten times. working every time? Yeah, uh, nine out of ten times. You might get the odd fluke. Right, you generally. might, you might, you could help me with some gambling here. Man. Yeah, 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 well, we'll help the internet please, now. <laughs> please, please do it on the next one and I'll put a bet on. We'll yeah, we'll try it. Serious, man, like, you can't really, it's your opinion on who's more relaxed. But I would, I would say in this case it worked again. You could tell the way he was staring down, it was too hard. It was putting, yeah. whoever's putting too much energy in too is generally tense. more nervous and tense. And yeah. The, holding his ground he's like I'm relaxed I'm ready to fight 
Yeah. Like, he, you saw Actually, fear in his eyes. <laughs> like, coincidentally, like... that's funny you should say that, because I was listening to the Joe Rogan podcast mm. recently, the one with Aubrey Marcus. Oh, yeah, I heard that, yeah. And they were talking about the top fighters when they walked to the cage. Yes, it's yes. Just chilled out. Like yes. Anderson Silva just looks like he hasn't got a care yeah. in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly the point. That's exactly the point. The more relaxed fighter wins. So it looked like Justin was going to win for me. Thing like one of their strategies was easy. It's like that's a shit strategy, man. Yeah, that's not a strategy. Okay. Well, I did notice before the fight started. You know, they go live to the um, in locker the room. locker rooms. Yeah, and. First of all, they seemed a lot more comfortable about doing the pre-fight talk this week. Yeah, yeah, it was, they got their shit that. together. They got their shit they together. Were like, okay, yeah, because yeah. last week it was a bit awkward, wasn't it? The first time they had to do bit it. Bit of a shambles. Like, uh, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, go out and uh, kick his ass. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I, did notice, I did notice in those two ones, in Faber's um, room with Marcelo, he was still talking tactics and yes. strategy. Yeah. He was saying, yeah. okay, make sure, keep your chin down. If he does this, do mm. that. Watch out for these It was kids. like last minute cramming like for a test. Training, yeah. yeah. Cruz's one was just all mental. Yeah. It was just, yeah, don't listen to none of that shit. That it's like, mean shit. In that room, it was like, yeah, if, you do, if he does this, then do this and do this. In the other room, it was, you're here to kill. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> That's it. Man, it's all mental. Because yeah. I think at you can't that learn point, anything. you're not going to retain it, are you? That's you. Sh- you should have learned everything you were going to train in. Yeah. That point before the fight is all mental, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely, that definitely. Big, That was another little, little. little Again, uh, Faber's like you expect better from Faber. I don't know why. I just expected better from him. I thought you're you should be a better coach than you should know that man. You shouldn't be. Yeah, but I think that showed that he wasn't a hundred percent confident. He he oh. he probably knew. I've done all the training I can with this guy. Yeah, there's still holes. Yeah, and like yeah. Say he's, he's still, still trying to just fill the out. holes. At the yeah, yeah, he's still trying second, to keep yeah. his chin out. Yeah. Whereas Cruz is obviously like this motherfucker's ready. Yeah. Like, I don't think <laughs> he's been doing this. He was than born me. ready, man. <laughs> it's like you just get you just get your head in the yeah. game. But it's interesting when they by in the training room. I do like that. I think they should do that at UFC events because when you see them side by side, Justin Lawrence just looked like a faster, stronger human being. He's an animal. Just period. Just, <laughs> he just, he just, he just looked faster and stronger. He, he's gonna fuck you up, man. <laughs> yeah, he's just got that about him. Yeah, yeah. I think he's got to be the favourite to win, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll see how it all unfolds. Yeah, there's still some fighters, but like he, he does stand out big time. Yeah, big definitely, time. Definitely. Um, he almost looks like he could be ready to go straight into the UFC. Really, I did think the strategy for thingy was not right. That it's like they tried to give him a strategy that didn't even involve his, his strongest skill, Marcello. That involves standing up and backing off and waiting for him oh, to come yeah. in. It's like you should be drilling fucking chael some takedowns on this guy, man. Yeah, like don't don't go out if you take a hit. Just get but him I think, down. I think they knew Lawrence was a wrestler, though, didn't they? Was that right? Yeah, I mean, you it? might, but you still got to go to your strongest area, man. Yeah, you still got to try and get him down. Like you Cruz... must be a bit pissed off now. Like I didn't even get to use my jujitsu. Because in Cruz's training, he was saying the takedowns this guy's going to come for are not yeah. going to be wrestling takedowns. Yes, gonna... that was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. He's saying be ready for him coming in from funny angles yeah. or you know sliding under and yeah, shit. Yeah, I never uh, appreciated that part of the game until they said it, like the the, the jujitsu style takedown where take you roll yeah, down with him because it looks like an accident when you see it in a fight, but it's not. Yeah, uh. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because as far as I knew, it's like yeah, single leg, double leg. Yeah, you know the basics. But there's but, that uh, whole new element, jujitsu style takedown. <laughs> yeah, it didn't even occur to me either. Uh, yeah. yeah, so it's pretty. Uh, Pretty interesting. They may. Uh, I hope there's someone watching now who's like a jujitsu expert. Like, you guys don't know shit. Man. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Talk. You shouldn't be saying the word jujitsu. Yeah. Like, I don't even know there's tape down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're still like we're, we're the voice of the people, man. We need to be yeah. like you know super journalists. We're just regular people. We're yeah. the voice of the people. We're getting yeah, there, well, man. Yeah, We're learning. True. I learning. definitely, yeah, the more I watch, the more I learn. It's mm-hmm. been a long, you know, probably about 10 years now. It's actually so. amazing that you're still learning because the game is still evolving, so it's like, it feels like you're yeah. always going to be learning. You're watching a sport evolve in front of your yeah, eyes. Yeah. That never Crazy. happens. That never yeah. happens. Or if it does, it's very gradual. Very slow. Whereas this is like from year to year, you can yeah. see the, growth. the difference. It's like, it's weird, and it, I love how you, you get a phase, someone will just bring some new shit in, yeah. And then all of a sudden, everyone, you see everyone start to adopt start it. Start doing that. Like, like Cara Parisian, nobody had ever done judo before. 
Kill him, okay. He comes in, just starts judo throwing people and yeah, shit. Yeah, All of a sudden, yeah, you see yeah. that element. Um, Same with the front kick. Anderson's all the front kick. How many people kick. try it now? It doesn't work, but everyone yeah. tries it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, there's something else. I can't remember now. What, that's being copied again? It, it, yeah, there's always these elements that come yeah, in. Yeah. Um, spinning back kick seems to be picking up a New bit as well. well. Like yeah, the yeah, style yeah, taekwondo yeah. spinning kicks, back kick. Different style of kicks now. Yeah. yeah um, although, actually, yeah, having said that, wrestling sort of came in like with the kind of Matt Hughes and stuff. Ground and pound and, yeah, and like shit you, like that. You get that's an expert in that field come in, he, he changes the landscape of MMA kind of exactly, single-handedly. Yeah. I, mean, I suppose you've got to say um, Royce Gracie was the original. Yeah, he, like, yeah. Nobody knew shit about jiu-jitsu. <laughs> yeah. And this guy comes in. Because I suppose before then it was almost like a, a sort of tough man contest, wasn't it? it was yeah. Like, Boxing, a bit of martial arts. <laughs> yeah. It was all stand up shit, wasn't it? Yeah. He just comes in and starts tapping every motherfucker. It doesn't, doesn't it sometimes blow your mind? It's like, hold on, yeah, of course that's one of the best ways to fight. Of course, yeah. like, if you had a real fight, you wouldn't just throw punches. It's the grab best way them to fight. And just, yeah, yeah, you would you choke them out and die. Like, yeah. That's the deadliest weapon there is. Designed as well. It's all about leverage and shit. Guy can take on a bigger guy, yeah. um, and and use his own weight against him to yeah. choke him out or break his arm or whatever. Yeah, Whereas, yeah. like, if you've got a, a little guy and a massive guy exchanging punches, yeah, 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 little guys at a massive disadvantage. If he gets hit by a huge fucking haymaker from like a, you know, two hundred pound guy, fucking and tank Abbott, yeah, yeah, <laughs> against you know some little scrawny fucker. I remember the first time I saw down. an armbar was um, in Enter the Dragon. <laughs> Have you seen right. that? In the beginning, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, he's fighting yeah, yeah. Samo Hung in his pants, and he's got some UFC <laughs> gloves on. It's like I think he invented those gloves. You know, I've never. St- Bruce I'm Lee. Sure. Yeah, yeah. There's this documentary how Bruce called how Bruce Lee changed the world, and yeah. it just it tries to link everything in the world to Bruce Lee, and it kind of works. But definitely I mean, for sure, the the gloves and the fact MMA. that he's doing, he's doing an armbar in fucking a kung fu movie. At the time, I thought that's a shit move. That's not very flashy, but like he was so advanced Real from shit. his. Yeah, he used to wrestle with Gene LaBelle, didn't he? he really? Like a legendary... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. I don't think it really can really be disputed that Bruce Lee was the, the first major MMA. person to go, I want to take a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. Cater yeah. it to your own... Well, that's what Kim Do was. That's what, yeah, that's what it was, yeah. Yeah, it was like, there's no style here. It's no. everything. Like he's, yeah. He studied things like dancing, fencing for footwork... Yeah, like everything yeah. comes into it. Everything. The GSP does fucking ballet and that, doesn't it? No, yeah. gymnastics. 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 Yeah. yeah, it's good yeah. with him. They they switch up. His tra- I see the importance that you cannot like. You must have to change stagnant. your training camp every time. It's like this time we're going to do something totally different. You get excited about it. You learn new things. You just do the same shit still. again and again and again, man. It would just kill your men. It'd kill your creativity. You just wouldn't like you just wouldn't be as good as a fighter. Just, you just wouldn't That's happen. Yeah, um, yeah. Right. So the fight then. Well, yep. not much to say. It was a bit, like I said, the strategy was wrong for Marcello. It was just, yeah. they weren't engaging for the first round. Well, I was going to say, early on, it was kind of, which something you do tend to see on the Ultimate Fighter because yeah, yeah. it's an elimination thing. Is they're a bit tentative, yeah. especially where they were probably the two top guys of each team. Potentially, yeah. So it's like, you're feeling it out. You don't want to, you don't want to go out to something stupid. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to get caught early. You've got to feel each other out a bit. Yeah, they took a little while to get going, didn't they? There wasn't yeah. a whole lot. Because I was watch, I was watching it with those uh, Polish guys who came to stay with me that weekend, oh, yeah. and, and they sort of they like fighting. See, anyone watching isn't going to have any context. Doesn't matter. Like, it's some Polish really guys. They like fighting. He just has <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like they like fighting and they don't really watch much of it though and they got kind of bored in the first fight and I was looking at it through their eyes. It's like if you're a newcomer and this is your first experience of a UFC fight, it's like it's a bit shit. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't know what's going on. But then, yeah, Justin Lawrence started to find his feet a little bit. Momentum building is like, okay, something's going to happen soon. Something's going to happen. It was coming, it was coming. And then, yeah, he was tagging him. He started catching him a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, movement started getting a lot. through, though, to knock him out. Like, the the punch that he threw that actually finally landed, it was just this weird punch, man. It's like, if your face. Because his hand was kind of there and his body was over here. Yeah. Like by the time it landed, it was like just proper like that, full extension Angle. but sideways. Yeah. And yeah, it was just weird punch. He just went straight down. It's like 
Are you sure you're knocked out? It didn't connect that hard, did it? But Got him in the right spot, though. It's man. the right it's spot, and you see his like, you see his foot slide after the punch. Yeah. How he threw into it, his whole body yeah. slid into it. Yeah. And that was it. Done. Yeah. I mean, that's that's it. What can you say? <laughs> I mean, great start to the season. They two fights, two pretty sick knockouts. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty pretty good. Cause there's been series before where they're just fucking hugging each other for the whole thing. Yeah. Because right? nobody that. wants to take a risk. Yeah. It's yeah like yeah, you yeah. lose, you're out. Yeah. So it's kind of, of that. and I think the fact that they've made the fights live has helped definitely because there's a li- added pressure, isn't there? Yeah, like yeah, every, yeah. You got you got an audience of you know however many millions. Yeah, yeah. Watching right now, it's the equivalent of fighting at a pay per view, probably bigger because more, not more, but the amount of people are going to watch that fight as a pay per view, roughly. Yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah. So, um, yeah, and it's on network TV in yeah. the States as well, yeah, so... Um, um, yeah, they don't want to look like a fucking pussy, do nah. they? So. But did you see the bit at the end where the cameraman stacked it? Yes, I've written that in the corner. <laughs> cameraman <laughs> fell over. I've done that a few times, and still, to me, it doesn't make sense why he fell over. There he was nothing there. It. It's like his legs just gave way. Didn't he go to sort of squat down and his foot just went out from I under? I don't know. From what I could see, he was just walking backwards and his leg gave way. But he goes, man, down, do not he? That was so funny. Uh, Cruz yeah, tried to help him yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> He almost got away with it as well. <laughs> kind of like, he was all, just almost... Ten years younger, he would have styled it out and just Took got it, the cup. Yeah. yeah, he's just too yeah. old though, man. That's funny, yeah. That's the thing of being on live TV, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's a problem. What, I did the, notice you know, as well, at the end of the fight, yeah. did oh. you see... Dominic Cruz goes goes to him, go and go and check on the other guy, make sure yes. he's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another little tactic there, man. Yeah, another yeah, another little though. tactic. Just, um, just let people know you're a good guy, you know. The, Have a bit of class. Yeah, I just suddenly realised this is a live show. Yeah. We might see some, some someone might just say something crazy <laughs> at the end of a fight or something. It's like that potential's there. We can't forget yeah. that. Yeah. That something crazy could just happen. I'm I'm sure they must get really instructed like you can't swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I bet there's a big fine or something if you. They probably put something in place. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah. They, should, they, they better have. Because <laughs> like yeah. it seems okay now, but come like I don't know week eleven when there's beef. When yeah, there's exactly. Beef. Yeah. <laughs> it just takes like you, one like wrong you comment said before, man. Don't. Um, I'm not ruling Chris Tickle out from doing <laughs> anything. <laughs> anything can happen. But how many times a fight and especially when a coach is, a coach goes mental like rampage smashing the door smashing the door that'll yeah. be live now <laughs> yeah. uh, I, don't, I, I can't see either of these guys losing it like that level though no no they're t- they're t- rampage is a different start. kind of crazy isn't yeah, it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah man but now like I was looking at the stats for this I love my stats as you know um, yeah yeah Faber's number two's gone now his yeah. number three went last week, and his yeah, number one just been called out. <laughs> next week, yeah. His top three fighters could be gone Potentially by next week. could be gone in, in the first week. It's ridiculous. That's crazy, yeah, yeah. I don't know why he um, picked Al Y. Quinter, man. I looked back at his first fight, I was not impressed. No. Um, having said that, Miles Jury wasn't that impressive either. But Is Al Quinter the guy who trains with Matt Serra? Yeah, and uh, Ray, Long- what's Longo? Ray Longo. Ray Longo. Um, yeah. Uh, Miles Jury's nine and zero, or he okay. was when he came into the house. Al Quinter is five one and one. I don't think records really mean a lot though, because you True. don't know where True. they fought really. True. They could have made that bullshit up, couldn't yeah. they? Could be like Kimbo Slice wins. Again, I tried to look at the, the, somebody's back garden. Yeah, I tried to look at the stare down to see who was more relaxed, and it, I think I'd have to it's give it to Al Quinter. Okay. I think that's yeah. my that's what I'm saying is going to happen that's next week. Pretty cool, actually. <laughs> see how that breaks out. Yeah. But again, yeah. if that stare down doesn't count, the real ones at the weigh-in, that's the, that's the one right. that means something, because it's a day okay. before fight okay. in the zone. Um, I interviewed the loser after the fight, which is a bit... Pointless, isn't it? It's a bit pointless. It's awkward, it's pointless. man. Yeah, It's not like they just lost a fucking title fight, and so their opinion matters. It's like, well, we'll probably never see you again. Yeah, <laughs> and, and Marcelo's English wasn't the best, either. <laughs> yeah. it? It's weird, actually, because I was watching it. I don't know if it's maybe because through... Um, Watching UFC and MMA, huh. I've heard a lot of sort of ghetto Brazilians talk over the years. Oh, okay. But it was kind of like I was going, I can understand what this guy's saying, but I don't really know how. Oh you know right, I mean? okay, yeah, yeah. you've 
Yeah, yeah, it's like I've learned Brazilian English. Yeah, I know you mean Brazilians speak a certain way and they use certain words all the time. They drop vowels like they yeah, only yeah, say yeah. half a word. They drop the end of the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things like that, and and yeah, like they, they certain sounds are different. Like yeah, yeah. Sounds. you got accustomed to them, and it just it yeah. And it was sense. like I didn't use kind of going, I can understand this. Oh, but yeah, I don't yeah. like. <laughs> I don't, really I don't know, know the word. I don't, if I had to pick out individual words, I could probably only pick out 50. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, people who, you know, sort of the, your average person would have no fucking clue what he was saying. Uh, so, yeah, it's like this This interview was pointless to begin with. Yeah. And it's doubly pointless. <laughs> I don't even know what this guy's talking about. But uh, speaking of Brazilians, Tough Brazil has started. And please, if you're listening to this, we're also doing a show talking about Tough Brazil. We're going to become yeah. the Tough Specialist, the Tough Review Specialist. So no, I looked on the internet, man. No one else is doing it, so fuck it. Hey, maybe we can't <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, do, we obviously also do pay-per-views and shit as well. We're not just... Oh, oh I thought we were just... In the world. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't watch pay-per-views. Just that's <laughs> it, man. Yeah, nothing else. So, yeah. Okay, but yeah, so man, I think that's about all I've got on yeah, this week's episode. Looking um, forward to next week. Any uh, other thoughts? Uh, MMA, there's just a lot of fights coming up that I'm so, so excited about. I'm excited about Anderson Silva, Charles Sonnen in a fucking soccer stadium with 80,000 people. God, that's going to be ridiculous. That's, that's blown my mind already. <laughs> yeah. even, a punch hasn't yeah. been thrown. Uh, yeah. Nick Diaz versus Jim, Jim Miller. Miller. It's going to be ridiculous be as well. And John Jones, Rashad Evans. Like These three fights, I'm just... Sometimes there's a can't about him. <laughs> I might, I might be putting some money on Rashad to win that. I, you know what? I want him to win. I don't necessarily hate John Jones. I do find him a I, bit annoying. I do find I mean, him. I don't hate him though because I think he's good for the sport. Oh no, John, I, I, I like John Jones, but I think my thing is if Jones wins, he's pretty much cleared out that division, yeah, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, it's over then. It's over. Like what's left? It's just it's a load of has been in the light heavyweight. Load it's weird, isn't it? Because mate, yeah. just not that long ago, light heavyweight was, it was a fucking, it was the one, wasn't it? It, it was, was the, the one top division, yeah. yeah. And, you know, you had so many names. Basically, Before once Chuck Liddell got knocked out, Pardon? that's when once Chuck Liddell got knocked out, that was the start of the collapse of that heavyweight Starts division. To go down, yeah. Uh, Ramp- it was the last kind of big champion for it. And then when John Jones came along, he just started clearing everyone out, didn't yeah. he? It's ridiculous. I mean, I suppose he could fight Hendo, he could fight Dan Henderson if he beats Rashad, but. Yeah. How much more has Hendo got in the tank? I reckon that Shogun fight took a lot out of him, man. Yeah, yeah. He looked wrecked at the end of that. Yes. <laughs> he <laughs> fucking wrecked. They both did, to be fair. But. In fact, I don't think I've seen either of them since. Like, I've not <laughs> seen him on any shows or heard any interviews. In fact, do you remember, Still I think we watched it, and at the end, <laughs> they, were take, they, were ca- they were literally carrying Henderson out. <laughs> and we were going, that's, that's the guy who won. <laughs> won him, man. <laughs> yeah. uh, there, was, there was no winner there was no loser there that was just a Definitely fight no that was just a that. fight man the fans <laughs> won that fight yeah. holy shit uh, um, yeah I think the next one's UFC Sweden which I was just looking at the card for that that's got a nice card man um, who's headlining Gustafsson or something um, oh god I don't even oh, uh, he's, some, he's some Swedish he's the only Swedish fighter in. Uh, no the there's a couple oh is yeah. there he's the there's big one th- there's a guy who's, I think, like a naturalised Swede. Uh, I, I want to say Papa Abidi, but I right, might okay. have just been racist there. I don't know. I might have, yeah. Um, rushing to the UFC website to have a look. Yeah, I'm just having a quick look now. But, but um, th- There is a Swedish guy, right, who's, who's light heavy and he's impressive and I think he's on this card. He could pretend... He's not quite John Jones level, but he, he sort of does oh, things fine. that could, okay. do, could be good. Um, Thiago Silva is fighting. Ah, oh, yeah, we go Gustafsson. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you got Brian Brian Stan against Alessio Sakara. Guile. It's gonna be a fucking great fight. Sakara's nice, man. He's he's a bit of a beast. Then Thiago. you got uh, Paolo Thiago's fighting somebody. Don't I can't even pronounce that dude's name. He hasn't even got a picture. No. Uh, Dennis Siva against Diego Nunes. Siva. Yeah. Was Maybe three, four fights ago looked like a fucking title contender. Out. He looked unstoppable. Is and then this he's lightweight. He kind of... Um, that's featherweight, that one. That's he, featherweight? Yeah, he, he stumbled a bit in his last couple of fights. He did? didn't look... Yeah. It's a little bit Arlovsky-ish. Yeah, something happened, and I, I don't know, I think he's lost it, personally. Because I remember the first few times I saw Andre Arlovsky, I yeah. was like, nobody's going to beat this guy. Yeah, yeah. Then, 
something, it's something, amazing. some switch flips or uh, something. You know what that is? That's a mental thing, man. Because physically, yeah. some nothing that drastic can change. Yeah, Definitely yeah. not. It's just purely mental. Um, Marcus Johnson's fighting as well. Marcus Johnson, yeah, against John Maguire. He didn't even win tough, UK but he's made he's made a bigger career than, uh, than, than Wilkes. James Wilkes. Yeah, yeah, much bigger career. I wonder what James Wilkes' motivation was like. Though, he was kept it, banging on about his school and everything. And yeah, very he's like super that. rich, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wonder if he's really got um, the uh, the motivation to sort of keep keep going. If he's got other projects going on, if he's got his exactly, own business. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. The business is probably the bigger. Thing that brings in money. Um, Diabate, isn't he someone? He's a kickboxer. Yeah, he's, he's a kickboxer. He, he got murked in his first fight. But whose team is he on? I remember him being a coach on Tough. One of the yeah, other fighters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh fuck me. I can't remember who it was now, but okay, yeah, yeah. It wasn't cost It's, check, it's it, weird no. when you see a coach fighting. You don't think of coaches as fighters. Yeah, well, that's what Cristiano Marcelo was, though. Really. Yeah. Yeah. And Ross Pearson's a coach now, you know, for yeah, yeah. Cruz. He hasn't featured really yet, has he, Ross? No, he's very quiet, yeah. But or even Phil Davis, he's fairly quiet. But, um, it's all about yeah, Master Tong, man. Just wait for Master Tong to do something <laughs> mental this season. But I'm interested in seeing John Maguire fight on that card against Johnson as well. Because Maguire... Because this is the thing, man. Traditionally, obviously, English fighters have been... Oh, he's English, shit. is he? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um, English fighters have been strikers. Mostly have been shit on the ground, but you've got right. a few guys coming through like Paul Sass yeah. and John Maguire. They're jujitsu guys, man. Oh, really? So, okay. Yeah, be interested to see. And then my boy Brad Pickett's fighting. I'm oh, hoping Brad, he's oh, going to have back. a good fight. Okay. Yeah, because he, he, I felt a bit bad for him in his UFC debut. Yeah, he got, yeah. He got a tough fight That's in his hard first fight, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, against that. Henan Burrell, was it? Yeah. He's, yeah. Who's like potentially a champion who just hasn't been crowned yet? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, could well be. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. Papier Bibi's. I I oh, remember him. He? Was he good okay. in his last fight? I bet he. I think he got knocked the fuck out. To be honest. Oh, does he just look good? He's got the body. Yeah. I think he got a lot of hype coming into that fight, and he'd he'd had a good record up to that point. Okay. And you then, know what he reminds me of so could you. Oh, it was. Looks yeah. sick. Has a good record, and then suddenly just falls apart. It uh, was Thiago Alves choking right. him out in first round. Okay. Very early in the first round, by the way. Yeah, and that was his first ever loss. But obviously, he'd never fought UFC level before that. So okay. I'd have to say, uh, overall, not a fantastic card. But like you say, always. It's, I don't know, man. There's some good fights on there. You got, not, every every no card's name. a good card, kind of thing. <laughs> but this is the beauty of MMA as well, man. No. You don't, you don't need big name. Big names don't necessarily equal no. big fights. No. You know, you, you always need just, you need your son and silvers, but you can't have that every pay per view. <laughs> and you, exactly uh, and you appreciate it more when you get them you know but also I think the more unknown guys mm. they're a lot more hungry you know they're yeah, trying yeah, to climb yeah, their way yeah, up yeah. They're, they're gunning for it you, you know do tend I mean? to see the better knockouts and finishes on the unknown ones but the ones yeah. where you think okay this is this might be shit yeah yeah so yeah we'll see man should be good man. He, looks, he looks more and more like Guile every time I see him <laughs> yeah. if you look at the picture on the UFC <laughs> site <laughs> you tell me that's not a fucking Guile haircut it's just flat Oh, straight he up and he's got the, he got the flat top now the high and tight. I don't know if it's the way they've cut the picture I think it's the way he's cut the picture or it could well, just be a, that's where it ended <laughs> that's where the hair finishes holy shit man so that Sun and Silver's in June that'll be here soon man. I don't know what I'm gonna, even my wife who doesn't even watch MMA she watched the documentary Like Water With Me like water, and right, she right, cannot yeah. wait for that fight she's like I want to watch that <laughs> <laughs> ok Brian's down I'm just waiting for it to uh to load. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm having, uh, All right, and uh, just to wrap it up then, so I'll there just we go. Oh up. my god! <laughs> 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 He's yeah. fucking. Hang on a minute. They got Miguel Torres's blog on UFC website. Are they? Didn't they fire him? Oh, they fired him though. Yeah. It's so not been hacked, has it? Did you see what they fired him for? <laughs> yeah. A rape joke. <laughs> With it, the actual joke was there's there's a thing on TV about um, a rape van. Yeah. And he said, um, they should change, <laughs> they should change the name of rape bands to surprise bands because everybody loves surprises. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's such a ridiculous joke, man. It, yeah. It's sort of like if you if you told a kid to make up a joke and they sort of yeah. know what a joke is, they would sort come up with that. Sort of know what rape is. Yeah, yeah, and then insert the word <laughs> rape into it. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's got a, he's got a blog on UFC. I wonder if they've let him back in, sort of. As a, 
you know, through the back door sort of thing, kept it quiet. I'll be honest, man, it, like, some guy who got fired for a tweet, it makes no sense to put his blog on your website. Yeah, I think he did overreact to that. I love that. Some guy got fired for a tweet who punches people in the face. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean, words. it's a bit silly, yeah. so... Yeah, I hope he's back. Oh, yeah, he's back, yeah, UFC 145. Okay. I never... I must have missed that, or maybe they did keep it under the radar. They yeah, yeah, you would do. You would make a big deal we're gonna, of that. We're going to punish you. Yeah. And then, you know... And there's comeback slow. Oh, so there's, there's hope for Paul Daly yet, man. <laughs> That's going to be the one, isn't it? Everyone's <laughs> waiting for the day that Paul Daly steps back into the octagon again. Dana White, Dana, Paul Daly's never fighting in the UFC yeah. ever again. That is the it. worst kind of MMA crime to have happened. Yeah, that was terrible. I remember when it happened as well. I was like, he's got to go. He's got to go for that. Yeah. I completely uh, sympathised with it. And I, I completely understood doing it. And it made sense. Yeah, you had to. You had to. It made sense. And I was, a part of me was even glad. Like, yeah, good. Because he did yeah, just you, fucking lay on you. You can't do that. As much as, as, much as a it. fan of Paul Daly, yeah. I am. Uh. You can't do that after the bell, man. That's mm. so unprofessional. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> well, I don't, uh, will we ever see anything like Surely not. Nah, you can't. You cannot do that, man. You that's have three rounds about, to do like, it, man. That's the good thing about MMA, right? Because, like I said, it is evolving. So, if we look at like MMA from now into 200 years' time, we're in the very early stages of it. And that's when you get the craziest shit happening. Like, like, if like, yeah, that happened yeah. once, it probably won't happen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that yeah, rule exactly. that exists. Yeah. Right, a list of rules on Wikipedia about MMA fights. And one, of, right. them, one of them says... You cannot pick up your opponent and throw them outside the octagon. The cage. Yeah, yeah man. which means it, <laughs> it definitely happened somewhere <laughs> that they had to put that rule in. <laughs> it's true. It's like won't happen again now. <laughs> All right, man. Well, yeah, that's we're going on 45 minutes. So I think I'm sure yeah. the people have had enough. Yes. So uh, thanks for watching. Yes. If anyone actually does watch this shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They and, might. Um, Follow us. Yeah. Uh, Hit us up. Twitter, Rear Naked Chat on Twitter. Yeah. As soon as, you, uh, as, soon as we get one follower, I'll start tweeting. <laughs> that's, it, that's it. Damn right. Um, and that's it, yeah, yes. man. Love, bitches. Can't huh? wait. I said till next week. I can't wait. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. Or maybe maybe there might be another one this week. See yeah, Brazil. for Brazil. See I want to get on that. I'm, I'm, I reckon that's going to be even better for some reason. I don't know why. It's just Brazil. It's mental. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. Great coaches as well. And if, again, it, it, when when it's the first time, that's the mentalist shit ever. <laughs> and Van, Vandal Silva, not not just one of my favourite fighters ever, one of my favourite people, people ever, man. He's just a fucking man. So yeah. Yeah. If, if you don't think that. he's the man, and you know who Charles Sonnen is, just look up. There's a, a cab, a conversation <laughs> that takes place in a cab. <laughs> where after we talk to that shit about Brazil, Vandal Silva just puts it to him straight, not in an aggressive way. He just lets that fucker know. That. Just watch yourself, mate. Just watch yeah. yourself. And we've got a little thing we talk about, um, which you, yeah, happens quite a lot in professional wrestling, which is what we call bait face. <laughs> Vince McMahon's very good at doing that. Which is, how can you describe bait face? It's like, it's just that. Uh, there's not an American equivalent for bait. That's the thing. No, but it's, like, it's I'm that gonna think about this. Face yeah, just, just severe discomfort. Disbelief it's like when to... Vince gets caught with his pants around his ankles <laughs> yeah. so and there's like a diva in front of him and his wife walks in and he has to do a certain face. <laughs> it's, it's somebody who's usually very confident suddenly looking very uncomfortable in their own yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah. That, and Chael Sonnen on that video yeah. might be the best bait face yeah. of all time. Trapped in a car, he can't go and anywhere. He just looks at the camera and he's, yeah, he's not happy. So yeah, oh, man, shit. love it. Alright, cool. Alright. Thanks. Peace, people. Yeah? Bye. Later.